I just finished sanding and bristle brushing, I guess, the outside of the bus with my little oscillator tool, this guy right here. So I went ahead and fixed the spots that were really messed up before, as you saw in other videos. So now everything is a smooth, flat surface. I'm going to refill the holes with the same Brondo stuff that I was using last time. It's an all-purpose putty. And then that's just going to be mixed with a little cream hardener. And I'll just use the top that they gave me for the Brando as my mixing bowl. And I'm going to use that same tool I was using earlier that I'm sitting on now, <laughs> this little scraper guy. And I'm going to try and get it really clean and really nice because before it looked jacked. So we're going to do it right this time, take my time on it, and hopefully yeah, the outside of the bus is like complete besides the paint. <laughs> going to do is start filling up these little holes so this stuff is drying super fast so I'm gonna put an even smaller amount of the cream so that's all the hardened cream behind that lighter toned cream right here so this little middle section is what I just poured and now I'm literally gonna put like probably two as you can see two little like bloop Maybe not even that much, maybe just like a little, yeah, something like that because my goodness, it's drying so quickly. I'm also in the heat, so I feel like that's not helping. Okay guys, I just spent the last hour removing that like bird sticker from the top of the bus here. I was going to do the other side, but I'm parked on like a hill. So I want to reverse the bus and do it the other way so that way my ladder can be stable. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. Ooh, so I just opened my paint and it's so pretty. So I'm going to take my little roller here. It's for detailing at the end, but I just wanted to get a little sample stamp. So I'm just going to take a little bit off the top. Get it off the top because it's off the lid. Anyways, and we're just going to test it out right here again. Now, right here. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Are y'all seeing this? This is so cute. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. First of all, I took off the black line that went all the way across and the bird is gone too. So now it's all sneaky and clean. And then I just used the paint over here and it's so cute. I'll probably do like two coats or something. I don't know, but I really like the pastel type of tone. It is so adorable. I love it. What is up guys? I know, right? Jess, you look good today, thanks. I had an interview, um, but now I am back to hit up this bus. Wow, I'm like super sweaty. It is like really hot in Atlanta right now, so don't mind my glistening, but I got my paint today, which is super exciting, so I'll go ahead and show you guys that. Um, it's fun. I really like it. I'm super happy about it. So we took off the stickers on the top of this side yesterday, so now we're going to focus on the other side, plus getting off the school bus stickers from the very front we'll figure that out and just in case you guys wanted to know what color i got i went with i think it's sweet as a peach i think that's what it's called and it's perfect because i'm in georgia and it's you know georgia peach state anyways um the actual brand that i used is valspar however you say that and i got the semi-gloss exterior and then you see all these mosquitoes bro ridiculous but yeah, I got the Season Plus exterior paint and primer. It has like Season Shield for color last and fade resistant, all that good stuff. So I went ahead and went with this brand. They also have other ones, but you know, this one was perfect. That's gonna go on the exterior. 
Now, as for the stickers, what I used yesterday was my handy dandy heat gun. So I'm gonna use that again, plus my little scraper tool, which is very lost right now. As you can see, I drove the bus today and everything went everywhere. Yeah, that's awesome. So huh, I'm gonna go find my tool and then I'm gonna go head on to the top of the bus. And I know yesterday was more of a picking up the pieces type of day. So I just went around and did what needed to be done. So it wasn't really like a build day. It was more of a clean and tidy up and just, you know, get all the loose ends done. So when I did the Brondo and everything, it came out a lot better than it was before, but I spray painted it just to see what it looked like. And I kind of want to smooth it down some more. So I'll probably sand that down as well. But as far as what I did yesterday, that was basically it. I removed the stickers. I sealed up more of the holes. I started on that shelf like I showed you. And it was getting super frustrating to put in the pocket holes because the angle is so weird. So I gave up on that. Definitely threw the screwdriver across the bus. But that's where I ended yesterday, just so you know. It was very frustrating, so I didn't make an outro. But I just wanted to let you know so you can keep up with what's going on with Jessica. <laughs> Okay guys, so I was able to get the rest of the sticker off of the other side of the bus. So now both sides are good to go. Took me way longer than usual, you know, of course. So I definitely skipped the school bus sticker. That'll be tomorrow's problem. Right now I'm starving, so I'm gonna go enjoy some chicken meatballs and spaghetti. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Love you, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching and spending some time with moi. Have a good one, love. I'll talk to you later.